guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another updated tutorial. Uh, so I did a video a while back on um, Home Assistant and uh, using it with Alexa, uh, specifically Emulated Hue. And so this is an updated tutorial on how to set all that up. There are three different ways to uh, use Home Assistant devices with Alexa. One of them is with Emulated Hue. One of them is with uh, setting up a custom skill on the Amazon developer site, and then the last one is using Haska. Uh, they all have their uh, pros and cons. Um, Emulated Hue works out great if you're just planning on using it to turn devices on and off. If that's all you wanted to do, Emulated Hue will work out perfect for you, and you shouldn't have to do anything else. So basically what the Emulated Hue component does is it tricks Alexa into thinking that you have a uh, Philips Hue hub uh, set up on your network. So Alexa just thinks that it has a Philips Hue hub with light bulbs attached to it and it's able to turn them on and off. Uh, so let's get started. Alright guys, let's go ahead and run through everything that we are going to do for this video. First things first, we are going to edit our configuration.yaml file and add in the emulated hue component. Next, we will edit the customize.yaml file so that our devices will be visible by Alexa. Once Home Assistant service has restarted, we will verify that the emulated hue component is working properly. Then we will need to discover devices in the Alexa app so that we make sure that the two devices that we have added will show up properly. And lastly, uh, let's take a look at that in action and see how it works. All right, so for starters, I'm uh, just kind of going to give you an idea of what we're going to be working with. I have uh, the uh, living room TV switch that we kind of set up a while back, as well as I have a script that I use uh, to, or I guess I say I use, my son uses it all the time. Basically, he can call this script and it will turn on the TV and set it to Nickelodeon, which is kind of his favorite uh, script in the whole house. Ah, first things first, let's set up the emulated uh, hue component. So we're going to edit our um, configuration.yaml file. Scroll down here, let's find an open spot. Gonna make some room right here. All right, so this is emulated underscore hue. All right, so since we're using uh, emulated hue with our uh, with Alexa, at least for this tutorial, I'm doing type uh, set to Alexa. You can also uh, do it for Google as well if you have a Google Home. Uh, the host IP is just gonna be the IP address of our Home Assistant box. And listen port, by default it's 8300, I just kind of leave it at that. You can set it to a different port if you want. Uh, I, I, didn't, I don't have any reason to change it, so. Exposed by default, uh, by, I set it to false. Um, what that does for you, if you set it to false, then you're going to have to manually say which devices you want to be managed by Alexa. If not, then whatever domains that you have exposed, which you're fixing to see here, it will automatically pull all those devices into Alexa. And you may not want everything controlled by Alexa. Uh, I mean, the Alexa app itself, if you have just tons and tons of devices, it's going to get cluttered. So I set it to false. That way I can just say, all right, I only want certain things to be controlled by Alexa. And I think it works better that way. So for me, I just have uh, input booleans because I have uh, a few switches that way. And then I have scripts and then, of course, switches as well. I mean, you can do other things like lights and other stuff if you want. Let's go ahead and save that. All 
All right, uh, next we are going to edit the customize.yaml file. And the reason we're doing this is just like I said before, uh, we want to say which devices we are controlling with Alexa. So you do this with customize.yaml. Uh, scroll down to the bottom here. So living room TV, I'm just going to add in some other information too, not prevalent to the emulated hue. I'm going to change the icon here on my uh, TV switch to be a power icon because I think that looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and change the friendly name as well to say living room TV. But the main two that you want to worry about are emulated underscore hue. And you can say true or false. We're going to say true. What that means is it will be configured by emulated hue. And then if you want to give it a, a different name um, than what you have configured in Home Assistant, then you can do that as well. So we'll do that. I don't think I need to because I'm pretty sure it will come up as Living Room TV. But we're going to do it anyway. We'll do the same thing for our uh, script, the turn on Nick, which is the one we are using. Give it a uh, friendly name. Mine, I just had it called cable dash turn on Nick. We want it to be controlled by emulated cues, so we'll say true. And since we want the name to be different for this one, we're going to say emulated hue name. And we will set that to just Nick. All right, so we can go ahead and save that. And now we can, of course, restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so once you configure emulated hue and you restart Home Assistant, uh, there is actually a uh, web interface that will be configured on that port, that listening port that you have set up. And I'll put the whole path in the description down below. But uh, as you can see here, if you go to that port 8300 API slash lights, you'll see this information here. And it shows you what devices you have configured in uh, the emulated hue. So there is uh, the script for turn on Nick, and there is the switch for living room TV. So those are the two devices that we just set up. So let's go over to our Alexa app and see what that looks like. So for starters, you need to make sure that you have uh, the Philips Hue app installed or, or uh, enabled in your uh, Alexa app. I already have mine set up, but I thought I'd go over and show you where it is. So there it is. If you didn't, you could say enable skill and it will enable it for Alexa. Once you have that on there, all you need to do is go back uh, to the uh, menu on the side and let's go to Smart Home. And we'll say add device. And of course it's going to start its little discovery. This will take a little while. We'll fast forward through that. And this is what it looks like. Uh, so as you can see there, I have the living room TV and there's Nick. Those are both configured from the emulated hue. So at this point, you're pretty much done. Uh, it's all there. 
I'm just going to show you a quick uh, video of what that looks like and how that works with Alexa. Alexa, turn on Nick. Okay. Alexa, turn off living room TV. Okay. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. Let's do a quick recap. Uh, let's see, we did the emulated Q component. Then we edited uh, the customized.yaml file so that those devices would be visible by Alexa. Then once uh, the Home Assistant service restarted, we verified that everything was working properly with emulated Hue. We pulled up the Alexa app and discovered devices. And lastly, I showed you how it worked with Alexa controlling those devices. All right, guys, that, so that's emulated Hue for you. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it's great if all you want to do is turn devices on and off with Alexa. That's all you have to do. Um, you don't have to get into building out all the other stuff that you would with the uh, custom uh, skill or Haska. I mean, Emulated Hue is really easy to set up. All right. Well, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any other videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have put together, again, let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you. Thanks a lot.